All right, uh, welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. This is part two of um, the camera and aim tutorial. So make sure you go back and watch part one before you watch this because uh, you're going to need to know some stuff that we did there in the uh, first part. So let's break it down. Um, I'm going to show you kind of what we got here. We're basically tracking this object through this landscape with a camera and aim. And what we're going to do next is take this camera and we're going to move it around a little bit because right now the aim is fixed to our, our sphere right here. So now we can start messing around with the camera. Okay, so I'm going to just pause that for a second and um, let's check out our, uh, our view there at home. And here's where the starting point is for the camera. Um, when you're dealing with a camera and aim, it's best uh, to just be working with, say, once you've placed your aim, uh, just moving the camera. You don't want to try and animate both of these elements, both the camera and the aim. And let's take a quick look in the um, outliner and see what we have going here with our camera. Right now you can see where it's a camera one group. And if I drop this down and drop this down, you'll see where we have basically a, a, a camera and then the camera shape. So essentially we usually want to be dealing with um, the camera shape when we're animating this camera. Um, just something to be aware of. Um, the, the camera and aim can be a notoriously tricky uh, thing to use. So I don't know, just something to keep in mind. So let's choose this camera right here and we're going to look at our attributes over here and what we want to do is we want to um, move this camera around a bit so in the scene right now since we already have it attached to the motion path and we know that it's following that sphere let's grab our, our points right here just uh, shift click select all of those and now what we'll do is let's come back here into the beginning of our animation and um, that's where the basic start is and so let's say we want to start with the camera angle up a little bit higher and we want to bring it down let's uh, click on our move tool and move its position up to say here to start we'll get maybe start with a bird's eye view okay and make sure that these are selected still selected and you're gonna put an S type S on the keyboard to set a keyframe right there and that basically sets our keyframe for where our camera is at that point so let's roll ahead in the animation a little bit and as you can see the ball is is down here now and we may want to move this camera at this point to sort of be more like over here and and down here alright so as I did that all of these um, points change so I'm gonna go ahead and hit um, S on the keyboard again to set another keyframe and let's move it ahead a little forward this way we'll let it stay there and we'll kind of see it track track it through that point and then maybe at this point we want to move the camera oh uh, let's say we'll, we'll dolly it in or move it a little closer into the object there so we'll just bring it over move it over move it up a bit and uh, let's just say we, we track it from right there okay so I'm gonna click S on the keyboard again hit S that'll set us another keyframe and then uh, we'll watch it kind of come around there and at the end right about there let's have the camera do kind of a swivel up and maybe go come back into a position over here somewhere now I, I don't know exactly how this is going to turn out I want to make sure I hit S on the keyboard now and we'll hit play so okay so you can see where I do have some uh, camera motion going on and we are tracking that object and I don't really know what this looks like yet so we're gonna have to go and look through that camera to see what it actually looks like alright so let's go and, and do that um, make sure the camera is selected and we're gonna come up here and into our panels and we wanna look through the selected okay so that tells us now that we're looking through the selected camera I'm gonna go ahead and just hit play and we'll see what adding all those funky moves did to this scene alright so you see the camera is in motion and it's tracking that object and it's doing some cool stuff alright so that's how it's done um, at least this method so um, 
Let's take a look at a couple of more things here. I'm going to go ahead and push pause. And let's come back up into our perspective view. I'm going to hit perspective. And I'm just going to click off of everything right here for the moment. Um, you can uh, move this camera around. Once you do camera moves, it's sort of hard to go back and, and redo your camera moves. Um, but let's just say we want to reposition this camera. We've, we've animated it already. Um, the best option is to perhaps click on your camera right here and come back to the beginning and you can see where it is uh, sitting in the scene up there. That's at least our starting point. You could um, do one of two things. You could just start with a new camera um, if needed. Oftentimes that's the best way to go if you mess up. But sometimes you can come down and do a, a cut keys maneuver which will basically cut the keyframes and now I can keep that camera. It's still locked into you know, that position, but we don't have any keyframes. So now we can go ahead and do you know, some different camera maneuvers um, and add keyframes. So just something to be aware of. So if I wanted, for example, say I'll set a keyframe here, make sure that you choose your translates. All right, and we're gonna just hit S on the keyboard, and then we'll roll it up to the end of the scene and then by the end of the scene, let's say the camera is over here somewhere. We'll just go ahead and bring it over, bring it down, bring it over here, and uh, maybe bring it over there. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Okay, so I'll hit an S on the keyboard. And now you'll see where that camera is moving around. And there you go. So it's moving through the scene. It's kind of doing what we thought it would do. It's tracking that object. Now let's see what it actually looks like. It's always fun to kind of see what happens um, when you go through and do some camera moves and changes. You can sort of refine it and look at it and say, well, it needs to be more like this, that, or the other thing. It takes a lot of patience and, and trial and error, um, but once you get the hang of using this type of um, system, it can make things pretty easy. Uh, anyway, let's say that you need to adjust something on the curve. Um, let's pick this bottom curve. That's where our object is attached. And if you right mouse click on that curve, you can go to your control vertex and essentially we can move these around. If I want to make it come up a little higher in this area, I might want to select that control vertex and move it up. Um, but in this case, you'll notice that I'm just moving the, the motion path. I'm not moving or altering our, our camera and aim. So that's just something to be aware of. So now that I put a little lump in there, um, let's take a look at it with the uh, little more like that. And let's say that we roll through the scene now. You can see where it sort of picks up that motion. And there you go. All right. Um, that doesn't necessarily affect the camera and aim, though. So let's say we want to bring up this aim a little more. Probably be able to choose this curve and right click, go to Control Vertex. And let's say we want to move this one up a little bit. Okay, we can do that. Just click on there and move that up. And you can tell that I'm, I'm in the camera and the camera's moving at that point. So let's take a look at what happened. And we're following it along. Okay, so essentially you get the concept and you can work with, uh, here it goes, up and over, ho. Oh. All right. That's just way cool. Maya is one of the greatest programs on the planet, and once you start doing this stuff, you'll uh, <laughs> you'll spend more time, just maybe wasting time. I don't know if it's a waste of time, but you know it'll get you the skills needed to get the job done. So that's how it works. Okay, so remember, in this scene we used the CV curve tool, and um, you know we just sort of altered the path a little bit there, and. Uh, that's essentially essentially what it is. 
And once you set keyframes on a camera, you can move around a bit. It'll still snap back to where that camera position um, is because you keyframed it and it's not going anywhere from those. So um, remember, you can use the EP curve tool. Okay, the EP curve tool. And let's just do a quick EP curve. Um, I'll go ahead and just click on there, click on there. And on the EP curve tool, when you create one of these EP curves, um, generally, depending on how you have your EP curve set, um, you know, it's going to be a, sort of a hard edge. Okay, these things are going to make a hard bank. And I'm just going to roll that through there just to show you kind of what it's like. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to press the space bar, come back into my main view here, and let's use the choose tool and you can see where here's our curve. Well, if I were to say create a polygon uh, sphere and let's just drag on a grid and we'll attach that little sphere. Okay, so if I choose this, um, let me choose the sphere first and then I'm going to choose this uh, this curve. Click shift on the curve and come up here to animate and what we want to do is create that motion path. So we'll set that object to a motion path and there it is. So in the beginning of the uh, beginning of the animation you can see that ball moving around. Now let's go back into our perspective view because I want to show you some perspective view. Alright, um, I'm just going to grab that curve and um, I'm going to move it up. So I'm going to grab the uh, I'm going to grab that and move the curve up. And as you can see, you can see the hard edge of it. And um, let's sort of zoom in on that. Watch what happens. Um, see that ball sort of moves through there and it takes a real hard turn. Um, nice, it's going through the buildings. So anyway, that's the EP curve tool. It gives you more of a hard bank, I guess. So just something to keep aware of. All right. So thanks for bearing with me. I hope you really learned something on this tutorial and um, hope it makes your uh, animating tasks a little easier. So remember, it's all um, in the concept right here. And now just use your imagination and uh, <laughs> do some stuff with it, okay? So there you have it. Um, thanks for stopping in and um, remember read a book and learn something <laughs> and always go to the manuals if you can they're good for your mind as well all right thanks for watching